Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dia. Welcome, I appreciate you stopping by. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I will be showing you my planners, but not in the same way I normally do. In my last video, I mentioned that my daughter was gonna be moving back home and this is the room she's going to be moving into. When she moved out a year and a half ago to go attend college at ASU, we turned it into our office and with her coming back, we wanted to give her her own space back and I was kind of getting tired of feeling trapped in my office all day anyway. So we sold our computers, sold our desks, got rid of everything basically and made it so that we can just work mobily on our laptops. And somebody in the last video asked if I can show you guys my little mobile office. So I just thought I would share that with you guys. So I'm a little sad. I had just set up this wall right here. I absolutely love these shelves and I told my daughter that she has to keep them in the background along with this little couch because when we move, I would love to take this stuff with me and put it in my new office. But for now, she will be moving into this room and I will go ahead and show you guys my new little mobile office. So here is the backpack that I'm currently using. I did originally purchase a WP standard so that I can use it as my work bag, but I was finding it to just be a bottomless hit and I like to have my stuff a little more organized. I did buy pouches and stuff to kind of try and separate things and keep it organized, but I don't know, it just still felt like everything was too hard to get to because everything was sealed up inside another bag. And then on top of it, it was really heavy once I had everything in it because if I go somewhere to work, if I travel to go see my kids, even if I just go to like the local coffee shop, I like to have everything with me, my planners, my journals, and all of my computer stuff. And you just never know if you're gonna lose a charge on your computer or how long you're gonna be there. So I like to have everything with me. And now that I don't have an office, I like to be able to work anywhere in the house without having to go somewhere else to go find a plug to plug in and charge my computer or anything else. So this is one of my favorite places to work right now because there is this huge window in front of me and Right now during winter time, it gets really cold on that side of the apartment and the sun kind of comes pouring in through this window and my dogs love to sit here and sunbathe. So I have a little TV tray that I purchased from Amazon, I'll link it down below. And I sit here with them and I edit or do whatever work I need to do. Okay, and before we start, I apologize if I sound winded or sick. I am still recovering from being sick, so I kind of run out of breath really easily. This is the bag that I'm using right here. It is by Bravit and it is called the Jumper Camera Bag. And it's actually a backpack and I've had it for years. I used it to take my camera with us on trips and my husband started using it to kind of carry all his journals and everything in. And I thought that is brilliant because it keeps everything a whole lot more organized than a tote does. So I have mine in green, my husband has his in black and sometimes they have specialty colors. I remember when I purchased mine, they had pink. And I would say the only downside is it doesn't look super professional, but you know what? That's really not a big deal to me because I don't really work in a professional environment. When I do take my stuff with me to work, it's usually a coffee shop, a brewery or a park or the beach or even sometimes by the pool. So I actually don't want something that can be ruined easily. I need something that's durable and this is perfect. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start with the outside of the bag. It is this, it, I think it says that it's waterproof, but it isn't waterproof, but it is kind of water resistant. And it has several different compartments, but it has this handle right here that's you know easy to pick up and grab it and move it around. It has these padded straps because it is a camera bag, which is perfect because it can get pretty heavy. And this way I can just put it on 
both shoulders and carry it with me without having any back problems. And I also love this about it because it is a travel camera bag. I'll slide this into my suitcase and carry it on top of my suitcase with me. That way I don't have the weight of it on my shoulders. Over on the side right here is this little compartment. Sometimes I'll throw my phone in there, but I usually just keep some mints in there. And I think this section is meant for a tripod, so it has this strap where you can strap your tripod in, but a water bottle will fit in there too. Also on the back is this little secret compartment that you can stick your wallet, passport, phone. I do find it a little bit tight to put my phone in there, and then it's kind of hard to get to, but it does have that. And then on the back top right here is where the laptop is. And it is padded, which is totally awesome. And I keep a leather mouse pad with me. And I also have my MacBook Air. A larger laptop would easily fit in here too. In front of that is this other top section, which I use as kind of my wallet section. And let's see. So in here, I honestly don't know what this little Velcro piece is for. I don't remember. I'm sure it told me when I got it, but I don't remember. I don't keep anything on it, but it has a nice roomy pouch in the front here and it opens up nice and wide. And then it also has a zipper right here. And I just keep my wallet, which is my little traveler's notebook. I keep my glasses case with a little wipey to clean my glasses in there. And then I'll usually just throw my cell phone in here. And then in this little zipper section right here, I have a little pill box, my Apple pen, chapstick, and my AirPods. So that all just stays right in there. And like I said, I use this top section like it's my purse area. On the bottom half, there are two more sections and really quick, I do have my little Disney pins on here and I would never trust my pins on here with just the regular backings to these pins. I purchased some locking ones from Amazon and I'll link those down below too. They are a lifesaver. I've lost so many pins using just the regular backing and I love these. Okay, so there are two compartments here. I'm gonna start with this first one, which is this little thin compartment. And I'll try to show you guys like a video of the inside of this, but it has, let me see if I can show you this like netting inside of it. And there's four different pouches, two on the front flap and two on the back. And in those, I keep my, oops, my mouse and I keep my charger for my Kindle. And then I have this little doohiggy thing that I got from Amazon and I can put my SD cards in here. I can plug a USB in here. And this is what I use to get my footage onto my laptop. I have an Apple Watch charger in here and also just a regular phone charger. What I normally used to do is whenever we would travel, I would grab the ones that I keep by my bedside table to charge my stuff at night and then pack them up and take them with me. But I don't wanna have to do that. I just wanna be able to grab my bag and go. So now I just keep an extra set of them in my bag. And then I also have this hard drive and my charger in here for my laptop. And this little flash hard drive is a one terabyte and I don't save any footage or photos to my actual laptop because I feel like it would slow it down too much. I work off of this, this is my work drive and I can fit anywhere from two to three projects on it at a time. And as soon as they're uploaded and completed, I back it up to a five terabyte hard drive that I have, but this is like my working hard drive that I take everywhere with me. And then also in the front is this other section and this is to the good part where normally you would have your camera. So let me try not to drop this. This is it right here. It normally has dividers, but I took them out. 
And as you can see, it fits a lot. I have a lot of extra room in here still. I keep my business planner in here, which is my Wonderland planner in the B6 size. I have my personal planner, which is the Sterling Ink in the B6 size. I have a five-year Hobonichi journal. This is A6. And I have my traveler's notebook in the standard size that I use for my long form journaling. And then I also keep my e-reader in here, which is my Kindle. And there's plenty of space in here. So if I happen to be reading a physical book, I have no problem squeezing that in here either. The only downside to putting all of this stuff in here is that it can get quite heavy. But again, I love using it so... The dog upstairs is barking at the Amazon guy. But again, because this is a backpack for your camera, it has the two padded straps, which make it so easy to carry around with me. And because it's not leather or anything like that, I don't feel like I need to baby it. I have no problem throwing it on the floor or the grass or the sand or anywhere I need it to go. So that is my work bag. I don't mind that I lost my office. It's nice to have that space, but I know I'll have it again someday. Right now, it is more important to me to have my daughter home and help her figure out what she wants to do with her life. So it'll be an adventure. I have a lot of home projects kind of planned, so hopefully I can record those for you guys, maybe even doing her bedroom. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe found some useful information for your own mobile office. If you did like it, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post a new video, make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.